All right, I'll hop up here, and we'll see if we can't fix that. Oh, yeah, I can't climb this damn ladder. This ladder's garbage. Stupid. Okay, fine. Oh, what is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We are back at it, and guys, I uh, I think my time on this server is coming to an end. Uh, I did get in Chuck, uh, in touch with the organizer whose name is Chuck, uh, and uh, get kind of a little info on why the server's been going up and down of late. But that doesn't change any of my plans for getting on a server full of YouTubers, a whitelisted one where we can build and hang out with people who do what I do, who make YouTube videos all day instead of this random one that, by the way, is always empty. Uh, and I did get in touch with my buddy Felris, who you guys will know from the first episode in this new season, or maybe the second episode in this new season, uh, and find out that he just isn't doing YouTube anymore. And that's my fault. I'm a little naive, teamed up with a, a real young YouTuber and figured we could uh, really make some cool stuff together. And I should have known when I was Felris's age, I uh, I, could, I didn't stick with anything for a particularly long time. Uh, so I don't blame him for moving on to whatever interests him at at uh, at the moment. Because I did the same damn thing when I was what, however old he is. Uh, but guys, we're back here and I am eager to finish up this build. Like I said, we got plans to move on to another server. And this here, this will be my legacy on this server. This is the build that I want. I want to be the testament to what I can do as a builder, uh, and so we're going to make the most of it. To start off today, we're going to carry on building this wall, uh, the wall that we've had wrapping around the outside, and we do it with this stone fence foundation, if I can, yeah, nope, how about right here? There's one more position here that I'm trying to get. That's all right, we'll just do that then, uh, and then we'll throw the wooden wall on top and this episode guys is going to be a lot of building uh hopefully we're going to really take care of everything we wanted to take care of today i think it's that one yes it is that one and we're going to get this build looking really good it may be a couple of episodes or i may split this one recording session up into a couple episodes we're just going to see we're going to see how things go and i'm going to take this wall as far as i can take it i don't know how far that's going to be basically until i run out of gear here but um, we'll keep it going. I figure I should um, give you guys a little rundown. I tend to do this. Give you a little rundown of my day. What's going on in my world. Recorded a little Minecraft this morning. Probably the video all y'all got yesterday. And um, what else did I do? Oh, uh, yeah. We, we got, I think, what hopefully is going to be our last big snowfall of the year here. I live just outside Toronto in Canada. And uh, it's now officially April, as you know. And uh, we're, we're getting, still getting snow. We have had the warmest winter on record uh, for this part of Canada, for central Ontario. And uh, despite that, the snow continues here late into the, into the spring. Uh, and so we'll tough that out tonight. I have an old farmhouse, and I keep it warm with this electric pellet stove, sort of like a wood stove, but a lot more efficient. And we had to go pick up, my brother and I had to go pick up a couple more bags of uh, wood pellets to keep us warm over the next uh, next few days, because uh, uh, we're getting we're getting snow and we're getting cold weather again. Uh, we also made a trip. I think some of you guys will know where this is, or know what this is. We made a trip out to Costco today. Uh, now Costco, I'm pretty sure that you have it in the states. I know you have it in Canada. I'm not sure what else, or the, where else in the world you do have it. And I know you guys watching these videos are from all around the world so uh you may not know but costco is like a big bulk kind of wholesale goods store you can buy anything you could buy at a grocery store or a walmart uh not anything but a lot of the things you could buy at those two places but in vast quantities and for a small amount of money whoops that doesn't look right is that the right one yeah that is the right one okay cool this, uh, this wall is coming together, and I like the way it kind of turned out. But yeah, a Costco, you basically, it's where you can buy, like, you know, a, an industrial-sized jar of mayonnaise or, like, a 24-pack of Campbell's Chunky Soup, that kind of thing. They sell in, in big quantities, and that's supposed to keep the prices lower. But 
Um, I tell you, I'd never been to one before. Because uh, you need... First of all, you can't just wander in. You need a membership. I'm not sure what it costs. But it's a small annual fee, and it lets you come in and, and buy stuff there. But I tell you, it was absolute madness on a Sunday. And Canada, it's a really multicultural country. But the truth is, for the most part, where I go and where I live, I tend to see people who look like me, sort of uh, from ethnically and, and from where they're born and raised. Despite our diversity, you know, we tend to group up. And I'm a, I'm a born and raised Canadian, I'm, I'm Caucasian, and I tend to see those type of people around me the most. Going to this, this uh, store today, I realized just how multicultural the city I live in is. Uh, it was, it was just, I just, honestly, I realized how diverse we are here in Canada and, uh, how you just need to go to the right part of town to realize that, yeah, not everybody is just a 30 year old Caucasian white dude. I guess I don't have to say Caucasian white dude. That kind of explains itself, but, um, the parking lot was insane and, uh, so were the aisles of the store. It was good though. I didn't go too crazy. I didn't buy like... 80 pounds of beef jerky. I just bought like a pound of beef jerky. Still a lot of jerky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that was pretty much my day today. Uh, nothing, nothing too fancy beyond that. Um, now let's talk about the the build, guys. Now that we've used up all my wall pieces, extended this wall. I'm not sure how far we're actually going to make it go. I'd like to maybe have another gate and a tower up on that hill, but I don't know how much time we're going to have on this server and uh, before we move on to another one. Um, so let's hop in here and you, you will see why we're going to have such a productive episode. Look at all the crap I've already done. Uh, we're loaded up. We got tons of stuff in the inventory. Do I have any meat on me? No. Okay, let's head up to my fire. And then we'll go through and we'll start laying the foundations. This is going to be so much fun. I hope this build comes out the way that I'm imagining it. I got a pretty cool vision of it in my head. Got a fire out here on this tower. Uh, access inventory. Tell me. Yes, I knew it. Uh, put you there. Put you there, uh, and we'll throw these right there. Number eight, sweet. And we'll we'll start going through and uh, start placing these. Uh, and I think we're just gonna try and replace the foundations we've already got. So there you go. And that's gonna I'm gonna really fill my inventory with thatch and fiber and wood. After all this, we're probably gonna be able to to make a few more pieces. And if we want to expand things, that looks pretty sweet. All right, cool. I'm gonna keep this going. Uh, I'm. This is a. This is kind of a fun time for me right now, guys. I'm completing some projects. The um, big sort of underground church I've been working on in Minecraft coming to a close. That thing is getting finished up. And actually, you saw a lot of that progress yesterday. Oh, I can't get through there. I didn't realize that. There we go. Um, and and here we're finishing up this the the giant mansion on the hill the biggest base i've ever built in arc and i'll tell you once we've got this under our belt we're going to do bigger and better things on this new server uh, i gotta actually i'm still figuring out where we're going to end up guys as a group uh you guys watching me playing where we're going to end up um i have one server that has offered me a spot and the only problem is it's a bit smaller there aren't that many people on it and the YouTubers that are on it are smaller channels, and it would be cool for me at least if uh, the server I ended up on had a few YouTubers bigger than me, and this first one doesn't. Now, I don't have a huge channel. There's 300-odd subscribers. I don't, if we crack 350, we're close. Uh, we're close to that. Um, and I, this first server, I'd be the biggest guy on there, which I don't have a problem with, really. Subscriber count, to me, isn't a big deal. I'm happy to collaborate with anybody as long as they're serious about youtube and they do a damn good job at it that's all i can ask um but uh but i do have another server where uh there's a real mix of people there's some like you know want to be full timers like me guys who want to turn their youtube channel into their career and not have another job and get to do this for a living uh there's some casual uh casual youtubers and then there's some just sort of thinking about it or um yeah not youtubers yet but maybe you're considering it that sort of thing so this server that i'm i'm talking to it's 
The guys, it's called, I think it's called the Iron Mine server. These guys play Minecraft too, which is an added bonus. And uh, I'm just kind of waiting to hear back. I've had been in touch with a couple of the guys that run it. And, uh, and uh, they seem interested in bringing me aboard. They think I'd be a good fit. And after watching a few of their videos, I honestly think uh, we'd match up well. All right, so there you go. Foundation done for the first part. And I got two left in the inventory. We're going to leave them in this crate here. And I think what we're going to do next is grab the wooden ceilings. Not the sloped. Yeah, we're going to grab these. And we'll throw these uh, stone foundations back. Maybe we will have enough to go... Uh, enough extra resources to go build a little tower out on this point. We'll see. We'll take a look at it once we've got a little more done. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm stoked for the possibilities. I'm excited uh, for the possibilities of getting to collaborate with some cool people. Shouldn't you go right there and replace that? It doesn't look like it is. Maybe it is. Okay, it is. It just is lower. That makes some sense. I don't like that I can't see where I'm placing it, but... That's right, I guess those are the realities of, of the building in Ark. Yeah, so we're going to have wood floor all through here. I I hope. Guys, I've been working my butt off for the last couple hours in preparation of recording this episode, kind of grinding, gathering resources, and crafting all these building supplies uh, so that we would be good to go when the time comes. Uh, and I hope I've done my calculations right. And I've planned right, and we're going to not be short of things. If we are, I'll take a break, uh, and I'll bring you guys back. Hey, I've never shown you the backside of this building. I added this dino gate to it. I think it looks pretty sick. Um, this part of the building, I think we're actually going to leave largely in thatch. But um, we'll, we'll keep going with this and, and see how it ends up. Now, I know I'm doing this roof while I've got these out. I know I'm doing this roof in, um, yep, in wood. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, and then the other one I think we're going to leave in thatch, but we're going to see going to see how far we can get doing that. Uh, okay, so we'll look at that for now. And why don't I, while we're at it, I'll grab those sloped uh, thatch roofs. Why do I have four left? Oh, I know. Okay, good. You can, you know what? I'm starting to get the feel. I have done some things right. I got four left. Look what I still need to do. Put you there. Put you there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Um... Oh, guys, I'll tell you. I don't know if I can cut it in because I, I recorded. I use um, NVIDIA's sort of native GPU software for recording. Uh, it used to be called Shadowplay. I think it's called GeForce Experience now. Anyway, and one of the things it lets me do is if I haven't been recording but I've been playing a game and something cool happens, I can capture the last 20 minutes. Now, obviously, it won't have commentary because I, was, I wasn't recording and wasn't planning on it. But... Um, I recorded a moment that was incredibly cool. Bort, who is our, our champion of a trike, this guy has defeated everything that's ever attacked me when we've been rolling together. He defeated a T-Rex. If there is a clip I can show you, I will put it in now, and I'll keep talking because I'm just going through this inventory and building. But yeah, me and Bort and Hillstrider, we were up in the woods nearby our base here, and, um, and we, uh, we were... Uh, just gathering resources and as happens when you do that sort of thing every once in a while you get pounced on something comes out of the blue usually for me it's an argentavis or a raptor or um uh you know one i you know saber cat any of that stuff right uh and a t-rex comes out of the damn blue now just a young one i didn't realize it at the time until i could go look at his corpse one-on-one -on -one with a young t-rex a level four and he demoed him Came out of it intact. I was almost dead. Hill Strider's almost dead. Bort, I mean, he was beat up. But damn, he took down a T-Rex. And that's the first one I've come across my whole time on this island. I hope by now I'm done showing you the highlights of that. I hope so. And we can get back to business and building here. Uh, why don't I dump some of the... I didn't realize... Look at all the resources I'm gathering with this. Uh, uh, yeah. Give me these and these. That's probably going to put me way overweight, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I would guess so. Um, here, let's just put these ones back. Nope, can't do it. I'll take these, and I'll put these back then. All right, I think that might do it. Okay, yeah, cool. So we'll keep laying these in, uh, and, uh, 
and you can start to get an idea. My idea was for that the first level of wall to be stone. So it looks like it's part of the foundation or a continuation of the foundation. And a lot you might not know this, guys. If you're building and your builds are mostly practical, you're probably just placing the walls where they go, or the way they come up. But if you hit Q, that's Q at least for me. I've got some weird controls because I wanted them to feel like Minecraft. But um, uh, yeah, I uh, you can hit Q and you can get the opposite texture, whatever's on the inside. And that's usually the one with beams or supports, like the opposite side of the thatch is, uh, I don't know if you can see it anywhere. No, probably not. Just inside here you could. Um, it's got these, yeah, these uh, sort of bamboo looking ones. And the stone, as you can see, has the wood on the other side. And the wood is sort of same thing. Uh, where do we have, we got a, I got a wood wall somewhere over here. Yeah, the wood, same thing. So you can flip it over and you can get this texture. And that's the one that I chose to put on the outside of this big wall so that we could have the standard texture on the inside. I like it. You get a difference in color palette. There's a lot you can do in this game, and it's neat how all these pieces lock together so easy. I mean, I played a good bit of Fallout. Fallout can take a damn lesson from this in terms of how you do building. This game, it it flows like butter. You can make these, uh, these builds come together just the way you want them to come together. Damn, that puts me overweight. Okay. You know what, guys? Why don't I take a break? Because uh, I am starving and dehydrated, and, among other things. And uh, we're more than halfway through this video, and I don't think I'm halfway done. So let me finish putting in this first layer of stone, and I will come back to you when I have. Oh, welcome back, guys. Uh, we are coming along. I've now done a, a good deal of this. Uh, how don't you go there and like that? Yeah, so we now got the stone wrapping all the way around this interior section. I think we're going to do entirely in wood. And um, the reason that I have so many stone walls in the inventory is I'm going to do these towers entirely out of stone if I can manage. And I think we should do... Yeah, let's... um. Let's try, for this higher level, swapping the texture and going back, yeah, to the pure stone one. I think that's the way that's going to work best for us. And I'm going to have to make one more of these stone door frames because I placed one, oh, like that, in the wrong damn spot. All right, let's make two stone door f I might not have the resources to make two stone door frames. We'll see. All right, I'll hop up here and we'll see if we can't fix that. Oh, yeah, I can't climb this damn ladder. This ladder's garbage. Stupid. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> Guys, this may be... I'm pretty sure this is going to be a damn two-part episode because um, this one, uh, I'm just not... This is not coming together quick enough. I know it's hard in a game like this to talk and build at the same time uh, and build right, but um, we got a lot to do. This is a big house to totally uh, sort of retrofit, and that's the game plan here. Stone... Door frame, get me close enough, and we'll demolish ya. Alright, now I'll see. What do I need to craft a new stone door frame? I might have what it takes. I, yes, I have enough for two. Ah, oh, brilliant. Cool. Uh, and we'll hop into the inventory, and we'll throw it right back on the hotbar. Which it already is. Cool. And just don't go anywhere but there. Ready? Three, two. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm liking how this looks. Bort, take us over to the other side. We'll do the same damn thing. Uh, here's another tip, trick, whatever you want to call it. If you can't reach something, bring your trike, stand on top. That's I do that all the damn time. Uh, six, three, two. Hell yes. Okay. And we want a window on this side. So that is seven. Go there. Okay, cool. I'm going to hop down because I think I can reach the rest of what I need to reach uh, through here window there and we'll go window on the top again we'll go regular wall in the middle here and we'll just keep alternating I think this is gonna look all right so window right there regular wall right there and oh I'm out of regular walls I know I got more hiding in this chest right here cool and yes, I'll take you. I'll take these two of my inventory. How encumbered. How encumbered. Just slow-mo encumbered. It's not bad. All right. So solid wall, which is eight. 
can go right there. And a window wall, which is seven, can go above it. Oh, shit. Goddamn. All right, so maybe we have a window there. We'll figure it out. Uh, that that happens. Those are the. That's just how this game works. As soon as you think you got something placed, it shifts on you, and you don't have it placed at all. Uh, so what do we need now? Eight. Seven. Cool. And I guess I still need to do that top one. I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm too much of a perfectionist. I don't want three windows stacked in a row. That's gonna look kind of stupid. I'm not making a high-rise building. This is a tower after all. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay. You know what? This is starting to look good. This thing's starting to have a good feel to it. Uh, starting to have a damn good feel. Uh, what do we have left? Uh, one more window. Right there. And one more solid wall. Right above it. Is it above it? Yeah. All right. Oh, and I haven't put a window on this side yet. Hopefully I made enough of everything I'm gonna, gonna need for this build. Uh, so, window, yeah. So we go window, here, and here. And a regular wall, right here. And you know what guys, this feels like as good a time as any to take my break, uh, or to call this an episode, and in the next we're gonna finish up retrofitting this simple thatch build into the uh, into the mansion, into the castle I want it to be. Uh, if we have time, if we make episodes beyond the next one, uh, we'll carry on this wall, we'll maybe put up another gate, and we could build a guard tower up on this ridge here, but my, my goal right now is simple. Make this, make this house into the masterpiece I damn well want it to be. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Building. Nope. This episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I've been doing a lot of building, so you can't blame me for calling it Building with UTC. And guys, I will see you in the next episode. My goal for this year for... Tw what the hell noise was that? What the hell? I'm gonna have to wreck some face. Somebody trying to break down my doors? thumping at my door like the loudest moron on the planet oh he's dead that's his meat and sadly though the creeper he ain't dead get wrecked get destroyed get obliterated